Good morning to you. Um, I'm out of my shed first thing in the morning just before I go to work. Kids have gone to school. I'm working away just sorting out all of the animals as you can see all around me are my beasties and something's just happened and I had to grab my phone and I had to document it here and now to show you guys because this is a story of something that's happened loads of times in the tabloids especially in recent times here in the UK and I'm talking about false widows. In my shed in all the nooks and crannies and all the gaps are lots of false widows. I absolutely tolerate them. I think they're a really beautiful spider. I've got no issue with them. And I've been bitten by them quite a few times in the past. And right now, I've just been bitten again on my neck. I felt something on my neck as I was just bumbling around doing what I do. Scratched it and I pulled off this. That is a false widow. Stetoda grossa, the black false widow. Just bitten me here on the side of the neck. It's a bit stingy, a bit itchy, but as I say, I've been bitten by these things before, so I've got no issue with them. I've got no fear because I know what they're all about. And unfortunately, the tabloids have gone right over the top with regard to the bites of these things. So what I'm going to do is, as the bite develops, as the symptoms develop, I'll film them for you and I'll show you just how bad or actually how not bad at all it is. So uh, join me as this day continues. I've got no fears, no worries. My head isn't about to fall off. So uh, yeah, join me as the day develops. Ah, one more thing whilst I remember. In all the tabloid stories of false widow bites, there's someone banging on about their leg falling off or whatever it may be, something really, really drastic. But there's always one key significant part of the story that's missing, and that's the actual spider. Automatically, people say the symptoms are that of a spider bite. But in my case, here is the actual spider. In fact, let me show you some details right now. So there you go, that's Stetoda grossa. The black false widow this is a medium sized one as you can see they're jet black they can vary in terms of their abdomen as you can see she's squished because i unfortunately squished her because i didn't realize she was on my neck but their abdomen meaning the back bit the bit closest towards me this bit at the bottom of frame can be a bit spotty sometimes but generally they're just a black spider let's see how the day develops and uh, i'll tell you all about the symptoms here i am one hour later right what does it look like uh it's like a Kind of like a stinging nettle, white lump. Okay. And it's all red around the outside. What, is, it, is it here? Because it's sort of stingy, itchy around here. No, it's, it's there. Where, where is it, sorry? There. Okay. Because it's sort of, it's like a stinging itch. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's quite red all around okay. it. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Here I am, three hours later. So I, I thought it was about down here. Yeah, no, that's it. Where, you, where my finger is. Up a bit. So up here. Up there, okay. And it just looks like a... Um, it's just like a slightly risen spot, isn't it? Yeah. And what was it time now? 20 past 11. Okay. It's sort of stingy, itchy at the moment. It's quite, mm. it's got smaller though, don't you think? The mm. area is less red? No, it's still quite red. Okay. Here you go. This is me about six hours after the bite. And as you can see, the redness has pretty much gone. The swelling is gone. The stinginess is pretty much gone too. I am pretty much back to normal. Hello, it's me. And I'm alive. Everything's fine. Now, honestly, look. No symptoms whatsoever. It's been about seven hours now since I was bitten. It stung a bit, it itched a bit. It was a bit like a nettle rash, but that's as bad as it got. I've had far, far worse symptoms from the common house spider or the common garden spider. They got far bigger fangs, far more powerful venom than the false widow. And so I've got no issues whatsoever. So please, honestly, in the future, don't listen to the tabloids. Don't be terrified. I'm not saying go out there and be reckless and do silly things because of course accidents happen. Like for example, with people with bee stings or peanuts, everyone has some sort of allergy and you could be allergic to a false widow bite or any other spider bite. So do be careful. But I just want to reassure you that honestly, what they say in the tabloids is complete and utter hype that goes right over the top. So don't have nightmares. Just have a really, really good Christmas and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Cheers.